So there's a question about whether you can add a Word file to uh, a quiz. And so there's multiple places that you can do that. Uh, if it's a file that the students need before they start the quiz, uh, you can do that actually in the description. So if I expand this on the properties and allow description, again, notice I can put in anything in the HTML editor. But let's say you want to do it in a quiz. What you want to do is add and edit questions. I'm going to go ahead and add a section. A section is simply just a area that de de you know, delineates kind of what the quiz is here. So, uh, you know, files needed, for example. And in the message here, you know, please uh, click on the links and download the files. So what you can do in here now is use the quick links. In the quick links, you would choose content. Um, oops, wrong. Sorry. In the quick link, you would choose uh, course files. And so if you already had files that you've uploaded, you can just go and grab those. If you need new files, just scroll down to the bottom and click Create New File. And here I can go ahead and upload. And uh, here's, so here's a here's a, uh, word, a word file. Here I'll do this one and create and insert. So go ahead and create and insert that. So that's the section there. Oh, and I forgot to mention in the edit here in the section. I can show the section name, insert a line break after each section, display the message and the image. So I want to display this message and image, display the section and image only once, or I can repeat it um, for various questions. So this is the way that it kind of acts like um, something that you can add over and over again. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Then I'm going to click inside that section. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my questions uh, here. Now, you can also add files right to the question itself, to the question text if you want. Again, inserting a quick link and going through course files. Again, if I've already uploaded the document, um, I can go ahead and choose it if I want, or I can create a new file if I need to. So I'm going to go ahead and give this 100 point, 100% for being true. Click save, and then I'm going to go ahead and done editing. And I'm going to go ahead and save and close that file. Uh, so now I'm going to go through um, the preview, which is a really nice feature, which lets me bypass this quiz, which is considered inactive. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll notice that right here, here's the section. I said display this section. So here it is. And I said only display it once. I could display it before any other questions. And here the student would have a file. Um, again, that's using the section heading. If I decided to use within the question itself, I would be right within the question.